Hey, hey, what up, everybody? It's a beautiful day here in L.A., and I think I'm going to go outside and play as soon as I finish talking to y'all. Check this out. Let's go on with this vlog number three here. Now, um, I said I wanted to answer you guys' questions whenever you shot them out to me, so let's just jump right into it because as soon as I finish this section of the vlog, I'm going to show you guys a video that I made the other day, and I was basically talking about how stupid girls are. Now, girls, don't get offended. You have to see the whole video and then tell me if you agree with me or not. Make sure that's all. Okay, so here we go. Somebody asked me, uh, who was this? Uh, Drake, Drake Chamberlain said, it might be a long shot, but Syria. I ship out for boot camp in three days. Want to hear your opinion, man. All right? I try to stay away from Syria because I don't know a whole bunch about the whole situation so I don't really want to weigh in on it but what I can tell you brother is uh good luck in boot camp I don't know if you're gonna become a marine a sailor an army a air force whatever I'm ex navy you know that two tours in the uh, Persian Gulf War so uh when you get over there graduate boot camp go to your A school C school whatever school you go to in that branch good luck congratulations thank you for your service my brother make it happen okay let's go on to the next one uh, Lewis, uh, oh, Lewis Russell, I'm sure. Lewis Russell said, uh, he preferred the longer ones. If you prefer me to do longer vlogs, hit me up, let me know, and I'll go ahead and do longer vlogs. Thanks, Lewis. Uh, who are we looking at right here? Uh, I don't know. I hate to say his name, but the name is Pussy Fan 2123. Pussy Cat, Pussy, Pussy Fan, whatever. Hey, I love your vids. Have followed a long time. I was thinking to ask you if you think the United States is getting too crazy with laws. Yes, I do. Um, wars. Yes, I do. Paparazzi. I mean, I'm sorry, paparazzi. Conspiracy and uh, spying, etc. And do you think you ever want to get out of L.A. and move elsewhere in the world? Now, the whole thing with the conspiracy and spying... Uh, I don't believe in invasion of privacy. What we do behind our, clo our closed doors, as long as we're not hurting anybody else, is our business. That's how I feel. Now, the thing on, well, do I ever want to move out of L.A.? I thought about it, you guys. Now, here's an honest answer. The answer is maybe. I love L.A. I love it out here, man. But you know what? If I don't make it in my career within a certain time frame, then yes, I'm really thinking about moving to maybe Arizona or some other part of the country. I don't know, man. Maybe even like Holland or Denmark or somewhere. I don't know. I'm I'm just it's the thought. It's just a thought right now. Okay, so let's keep it pushing. Um who was that for? Thank you, man. I ain't gonna say your name again. <laughs> Somebody asked me what's my job other than uh YouTube? Who was that? How bizarre or hell how bizarre. Uh YouTube, for a long time, was my only job, but I'm also certified California notary, and uh, I've worked with home loan modifications. I've done a lot of different stuff, So, but at this present time, yes, YouTube is my only job, and of course, you guys can see how things are going, so uh, I'm going to have to make a move here pretty soon. Okay, there you go. All right, let's see who we Miss Giggles Baby, she says, how is your daughter, and are you uh, going to fight for custody? That's a great question, Miss Giggles Baby. The question is, my daughter is fine. She's with her mom. Now, I'm not fighting for custody because I don't believe in taking children away from their mothers, especially in a divorce or a split or a breakup, whatever. I don't believe in it. So, therefore, I'm going to... Um, not fight, but I do have my visitation rights. I see her, you know, uh, to what we set up, her mom and I. But see, here's the problem. If my daughter lived with me, I wouldn't understand a damn thing she was saying. Because my daughter speaks all Spanish. I mean, of course she's mixed, black and Mexican. But we wanted her first language to be Spanish. Because believe it or not, in America, it's very important that you learn Spanish. Because that's the, the second dominant language over here, English and Spanish. And whatever else she can learn, I want her to learn. Because she'll pick up English easily. 
you know, she'll be watching cartoons like Roadrunner and, and all that. And she'll be going, beep, 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 and all that Roadrunner stuff when she first started off. What's up, Doc? From the Bugs Bunny and all that crap. And hey, hey, hey. And Fat Albert. But she, she'll learn English. She'll be talking like a cartoon character for a while, but she'll learn English. So, uh, Louis Isabella's doing good. Thank you for asking that question, Miss Giggle. Okay. Um, now, Sean McClain. He had an interesting point. He said, your son is 15. That must mean you're aging 40. You only look 28. Now, some people out there really know how old I am. And someone asked me that question the last time. And then, um, I'm not going to tell you my age. Because in the entertainment business, most entertainers try to keep their age a secret. I don't mind telling you my age. But just until I do something in this business big, then you'll know my age. But um, at this time, I'm 28. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Sean. Uh, let me give one more because I'm going to let you guys uh, check out this video I made about girls and how stupid they are. No offense. And if I don't get to your question right now, man, I'll get to it another time. Just make sure you keep asking the same question. It'll keep popping up. I'll keep saying it. And pretty soon, I'll get to it. Because uh, hi, B19. Hi, bye. I guess that is. 1990 asked the same question about how old I was, okay, in my career and everything else. So cool. All right, this is the last one, you guys. Who is this? Uh, it says James Milton asked me, "Have you ever had somebody say something racist to you to offend you?" Of course, in the past I have, but at this present time, man, I've been called the N word so much I thought that was my name. I ain't even lying. I'm walking down the street, somebody, hey, nigga. I'm like, hey, what, 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 you talking to me? You know, hey, nigga. Hey, what's happening, man? I thought that was my name. I'm keeping it real, y'all. Because uh, my mom used to call, hey, you, little nigga, you better bring your ass over here. I thought my mom, hey, that's my mom. So I'm at school thinking that's my name. So, yes, in the past, but now, not so much, man. Now it's just like, I don't care. Just write a check or something. You know, help a brother out. Call me the N-word and give me a check. I don't care. So anyway... That's the answer to your question, James Milton. So you guys, like I said, I appreciate you guys coming here, viewing my vlogs, and asking me the questions. So uh, continue, continue, spread the word. Let them know Disco Shine is vlogging now, and I'm talking about everything, everything. So this is the video I made the other day, and I was just talking about uh, girls and how stupid they are. Like I said, women, please don't take offense. It's just I'm just keeping it real, keeping it real. And if you agree with me, tell me. If you don't, tell me. Hey, what up? This Disco Shine 21. Hey, a lot of girls probably gonna hate me for this one. But I'm gonna keep it real. Women are so stupid. Girls are stupid. I know. Just hear me out. This is how it is. Girls start off stupid at a young age. Like, they get fooled. They say, uh, boys or what? snails and puppy dog tails and girls or flowers and balloons all type of crazy stuff and when they grow up they believe that stuff see this is what pisses me off about girls or women let's just jump straight to women young ladies whatever because i'm girl is a girl that's back then i let the little boys talk about that but what pisses me off is girls okay anybody under 18 you cool to go around with your girlfriend Holding hands, pretending like y'all sisters and all that type of crap. That's cool under 18. But when you get over 18, cut that shit out. You know, I'm at a club, 21 and over. I'm seeing these chicks walking through the club protecting each other like lesbians. Like this, they love her. Yet still they holler and they want a boyfriend, they want a man. You ain't gonna get no man walking through a club holding another girl's hand unless you're gonna share that girl with this man. So cut that shit out. And another thing is grown-ass women. You girls, grown women are, oh, you're stupid. Stop listening to your friends. What the hell is wrong with you? If your friend number one is divorced, friend number two is divorced, friend number three is divorced, and friend number four is divorced, why are you taking their advice? Guess what's going on? 
guess what's going to happen to you? You're going to be divorced. Because guess what? They want you to, to join the Lonely Woman's Club. That's right. They want you to join the Lonely Woman's Club. Trust me. They telling you all this bad stuff about your man. You stupid telling them your problems and what's going on in your relationship. And you see how unhappy those witches are. Yet still, you're going to listen to them? And then guess what? You're divorced and just unhappy. <laughs> and, 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 and another thing is, you're sitting here wishing you had your husband back because this new dude you got is way worse than your husband. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? I know, I'm touching the nerve or something. See, let me tell you something, girls. Girls are the most jealousest chicks on the planet. Women, girls, little girls, they jealous of each other like a mug. Let me tell you something. If you telling your girlfriend about your sex life with your man and it's great, guess what's going to happen? She going to try to give him the stank box. <laughs> she going to try to give it to him. I guarantee you, she just be hoping and praying for y'all to break up. Girls are stupid. Women are stupid. Y'all better listen to me. You better listen to what I'm telling you. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut this off right now because there's going to be a part two. Because I'm going to keep on telling you how stupid you are until you learn what I'm talking about. Everybody want to be talking crap about black men dating outside their race. I'm going to get on that too. I'm going to tell you why black men don't want to be dating black women. Sorry, black women, but it's the truth. Girls are stupid. Black men don't really like dating black women. They date outside their race. They're the happiest men on earth. Black women gonna hate me. Women gonna hate me. But I love y'all. I love all y'all. I don't care what race you are. I don't care what size, what shape, what color, how big your booty is, how flat your booty is, how round your eyes are, how slanted your eyes are, how green, how blue, how brown your eyes are, how long, how short your hair is, how big your feet is, how small your feet is, how your feet smell. I don't care about all that. What I care about is how you treat me. All men want is for you to treat us good and support us. That's one of the most important things men want. Support. Support your man. I'm gonna cut this short because I, you know, I don't. I'm see. I'm getting upset. Excuse me, people. I'm gonna cut this short. Part two is coming. You better believe it.